Fellow Americans, consider the skies of Michigan. These airy heights, these swift bird flights, these children's kites. How peaceful the skies of Michigan. Here is the city of Grand Rapids, Michigan, furniture center of the USA. Population came of Holland Dutch, French and Canadian, Polish, Irish, and Lithuanian. Population is 168,000 Americans. A little frontier trading post manufactured itself into a city. Gone are the Grand River log jams and big men driving the timber down. But even now, Grand Rapids is sawing it up and sanding it down and gluing it up and carving it down and making it up into furniture. Now, a few weeks ago, one ordinary Grand Rapids day, a bomb fell. Yes, here in Grand Rapids, a bomb fell on the furniture center of the USA. Someone was killed, someone of Grand Rapids. As the bomb fell, these kids were shooting marbles for keeps. They didn't see it. As the bomb struck, the junior league was playing bridge. They didn't feel it hit. Where the bomb exploded was here, 726 Reed Street. It blew up here. Funny, nobody saw it, nobody heard it, nobody knew it fell. Nobody in Grand Rapids knew a bomb had fallen on the city. Not the boys in the barber shop, not the Schubert Singing Club, not the city tournament bowlers, not even the mayor at the Lions Club. Nobody. But a few days later, they knew. Earlier that day, a bomb fell on Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA. After exhaustive search, it has been found impossible to locate your son, Raymond D. Boynton, Seaman Second Class, United States Navy. And he has therefore been officially declared to have lost his life in the service of his country as of December 7, 1941. The department expresses to you its sincerest sympathy. fellow Americans. And now to the shores of Florida. Her sunshine days, her Spanish ways, her azure bays. How peaceful the shores of Florida. Now here is the city of Tampa, Florida. Tobacco port, winter resort. Tampa is 101,000 Floridians exporting timber and turpentine shipping 90% of Florida's grapefruit, making cigars. Some of them can tell you about the Florida boom, 1924. <laughs> A lot of promoters went broke. About Hernando de Soto, 1539. They say he sat under this oak. About the Rough Riders, 1898, time when this gun spoke. Old timers remember about how Tampa sang There'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Funny though, some of them don't know how a few weeks ago, Tampa was machine gunned from the air. Tampa went on shopping. Tampa went on playing. Tampa went on being a winter resort and a tobacco port. Tampa University didn't hear. Franklin Street didn't notice. The Yacht Club and the city hall, I didn't know about it. But here, 2803 Fountain Boulevard, they knew Tampa had been machine gunned. The Secretary of War desires me to express his deep regret that your son, Private Theodore F. Byrd, Jr., United States Army Air Corps, was killed in action in defense of his country in the Hawaiian Islands. December 7. Letter follows. Fellow Americans, and here are the towers of New York, of commerce rise, of enterprise, of 
breathless sighs. How peaceful the towers of New York. Here then is New York City, hometown of seven million. New Amsterdam, harbor of ships and fleets. Manhattan, metropolis of the world. Subway to skyline. Tenement to penthouse. Workshop to play shop. Metropolis of the world, so clever so able, so brilliant, so knowing, except did not know, did not feel, did not hear the torpedo that struck New York. Yes, deadly. Nobody saw it crossing Times Square to a movie. Nobody felt it shopping on Fifth Avenue or was hit, lunching at the Rainbow Room. Just the same, a torpedo struck New York. 319 East 100th Street, Manhattan Island. And they knew it had happened. The Secretary of War desires me to express his deep regret that your son, Sergeant Joseph J. Chagnon, United States Army, was killed in action in defense of his country in the Hawaiian Islands, December 7. Letter follows. Fellow Americans, consider the ranges of Texas, her open spaces, her crowded places, her western faces. How peaceful the ranges of Texas. Here at Port Arthur, Texas, Near Louisiana and the sea, 46,000 Texans say, we oil the world. Proud of the Lone Star State, young city going places. No war on the pleasure pier, college girls swimming. Sabine Lake fishing, boat sailing, and holding hands. Woodworth Boulevard, a nice home. Gates Memorial Library, brand new. Port Arthur College for learning to work. Looks peaceful, too peaceful for war, but it's here, here in Port Arthur. Dive bombers? Yes, here. Killed someone of Port Arthur. A hometown boy, grew up with the other kids. Graduated Thomas Jefferson High last June. When the dive bomber struck, didn't hit the news building or the firehouse, didn't frighten the Watkins family, didn't shatter the cigar store. Where it struck, where they knew, was here. 525 New Orleans Avenue. Deeply regret to inform you that your son, Private Robert A. Huval, United States Marine Corps, died of wounds received in the performance of his duty and in the service of his country. To prevent possible aid to our enemies, please do not divulge the name of his ship or station. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. It's here in our America. Bombardment, shell fire, death, destruction. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Listen. Americans, give them your answer.